Now in a previous tutorial I taught you guys about how to move or navigate over through pages however I didn't teach you guys how to pass data so this is what we're going to cover today to see how we can pass data from one activity of course to the other so or from one page to the other for example say that I have this one right here okay and then my email I come and have it right here and then I come have my password right here and then I type the image URL right here so I type my URL this is the URL we're going to download the image from okay I have this image hosted in github you just pass in any image URL then click pass data and if you click pass data of course this will open for us you click this particular button and that's it you can see perfectly we have our detail page we have the image has actually been passed its URL and then the image has been downloaded we have the username the actually this should be the email so this is just a labeling error this is our email and then this is the password which we typed okay so in fact if we like we can even go and change the data so for example I can come and retype more data here so I can come and have my image here as well and then of course type the username and then come click pass data so if you click now by right now the image is actually being downloaded in the background so you just need to make sure that you have internet connectivity and then of course in a short while you can see we have the images actually been downloaded okay so you can see journey password and then email and password now take note this is just a labeling error so this is of course just a label we should give it an email the email this is the data that we've received then this is the password that we've actually received perfect okay we've seen how to pass data from one page to the other okay and this is actually very good very very important because it allows you to construct application with multiple pages now this of course is in the portrait mode let's also look at the app in the landscape mode all I have to do is rotate the device you can see our data has actually been preserved then I just click to pass data and perfectly we have our page right here with our data guys this is very important passing data from one page to the other this is what we're going to learn in this tutorial so let's get started so first and foremost we have to start by creating a flat application so choose the flat application then click next then of course come type your project name and then your SDK path then your project location then the description then next then click finish to generate our project then of course we're going to be interested in two files first the main.dat where we're going to write our code and then the pubspec.yml now this yml file is our configuration file okay so right here in fact we're not going to add any dependencies However, suppose we had any dependency would come and have it right here. For example, Capatino icons. Okay. Now this is an SDK. Uh, this dependency is a local dependency. Is actually not a, a third party. Okay. So if we had any third party, would still come and then just have it right here. Okay. So this is our pubspec.yml. Of course, you can change your name for the application as well as the description. Now we're going to come to the main dot right here first and foremost we're going to import this material dot because we're going to build a material application then first we're going to have this class which we're calling the user now this user this is a data object or what we also call the model class is going to represent a single user in fact it is the user which we're going to be passing to another class to of course the second screen okay so what are the properties for this user all the user will have a name and email a password as well as the image url now of course we then going to have this is our constructor so these are the properties which are going to be passed to the user this dot username this dot email this dot password and this dot image url then this is our home widget right here okay so remember we're going to have two screens or two pages the home page and then the second page so we'll pass data from the home page to the second page now 
this is a home page we're going to make it a stateful widget by deriving from this stateful widget class now because we've made it a stateful widget we have to provide it state a stateful widget is just a widget that has of course a mutable state its state can actually be changed now when we're creating a stateful widget we have to override at least this create state method this is the method that is going to return the state of this particular widget so we are saying in this case that our state is going to be this home state right here okay so we come let's go ahead create that home state class home state extend state okay so state remember is just information that is associated with the widget so this is the in like the internal logic um of a given widget okay that's what we call a state so we create it by having this state making a class derived from the state you can see it wants us to implement the state dot build method however before we do that one we're going to maintain four instance fields right here first a username controller an email controller a password controller and then the image url controller so we're using we're signing them of course a text editing controller normally in Flutter, if you're working with text fields those are text fields that can actually be edited you need to supply them with a controller because it is the controller that is going to be maintaining the value observing the value of that particular text field and then it then can therefore notify the listeners when that particular value changes okay because most of the time we're going to be interested in the value of the text field okay so you need to maintain a controller we'll see how to use it yeah so we come right here and then implement this build method this is a build method for this particular state class now we come we're going to return a scaffold this scaffold is going to scaffold for us a basic uh, material design application so we come right here this application first is going to have the application bar or the app bar think of it as the toolbar so this app bar is going to have a title this is the title text and then the app our scaffold it will also have a body so basically a bar and the body so what is the body we're going to assign it a container a container is a container widget as the name suggests it can contain other widgets now in this case it will contain a center widget remember in flutter if you are talking about a widget we don't just mean a visual component that can actually be observed okay we also mean a placeholder uh, components for example center and container are not things you can observe but they're also widgets okay they're widgets responsible for holding other widgets right here so we have container inside it will have a center widget inside the center widget we have will have a column widget if you're working with a column widget you have to assign it children it's children using this children property okay so this children property you are saying is going to have of course an array of widgets so we come the first one is the padding widget inside the padding widget as its child will assign it a text now this is the text right here okay so and then we're just giving this particular text a font weight of bold and a text size of 20 and then we're lining it to the center basically this is going to be the title in this particular in our home page all right then we come we provide the padding okay agent sets dot only now we're going to give it a padding of 20 dp at the bottom of this particular um text right here then we come text form field okay so text form field this right here will give it an input decoration now of course the username right here will be our label text and then the controller is our username controller what is the what is the role of this username controller well its role <coughs> sorry its role is to observe the value of this text from field and then notify the listeners so for example we can therefore obtain the text property of this text from field from the username controller we have another which is the email controller 
the text form field which of course is for our email we assign it the email controller and then of course we also have the text form field for password we assign it the password controller in our password we're going to obscure the text because this is a password right here however it's still a string so we'll pass it then lastly we have that one for the image url so image url right here it will also have its image url controller now below them we'll have a raised button so this button we're going to give it of course the on pressed right here okay so when it is pressed what are you going to do well of course first you're going to instantiate a material a page route okay now this right here is going to allow us to route or basically to move to the second screen or to the second page now of course here is its builder property now of course this is how we're going to move right here so new second page then in the constructor of a new second page we're going to assign its value what is the value that you are passing to the second page where well, we're assigning passing in a user object okay so this user we instantiate it however we're going to give it these properties for example the username we're going to assign it the username controller.txt the email the email controller.txt the password the password controller.txt as well as the image url controller.txt then of course does it and then lastly we come right here and navigator.of then we push that particular route right here so in fact to move over to a second screen normally we use this navigator class okay so basically it's a class that will maintain a stack discipline so that we're going to be pushing our routes to this particular navigator for example we come right here the second route the route which we've just built we're going to push it and this is what is going to open for us the second page okay so that's it now this right here of course is the text property of the button all right so we come right here now let's come construct our second page that second page will also turn it into a stateful widget now that means that it's going to have some internal information or logic we're going to maintain a user object right here called value okay this is a user object now take note of our constructor in our constructor we are passing in to at least two parameters no yeah we'll pass in of course a key object as well as this dot value in fact this dot value is going to be a user object okay so yeah we'll pass it right here so whatever we'll receive from the second page we'll hold it in this user object then of course in the super constructor of our stateful widget which is our stateful widget we'll pass in the key okay which is the identifier for the widget these keys are what are used to identify a given widget now as any stateful widget of course we come right here and override the create state method is going to return for us the second page state so let's come create this second page state right here of course we have to make it extend the state and then we have to make it override the build method so right here we come with the build method we're going to return a scaffold again scaffold is going to allow us to construct a basic material design page so return new scaffold then of course the scaffold first will specify the app bar the application bar and this will be the title then of course it will have the body now the body will have a container again with the center and column and of course children widgets the first child widget will be a padding that padding will contain this text basically past values and then this is just a title right here okay then we'll come below the first padding we'll have another padding as our second child this padding will have a child of so of an image so take note that you're using this image class then the network then we pass in the image url which we received so suppose if you passed in a valid image url this is going to load our image right here okay so widget.value.image url now having done that one agent sets that only then of course we have it we pass in the bottom so this is 
our bottom printer we're going to have a padding of this one then of course we also have the third child which is also a padding it will have a text which will show the username now this is how we retrieve the username so widget dot value dot username okay this will give us so if you say widget we actually mean of course the current widget which is our stateful widget which is our second page okay so this will we get its value now the value property of course will give us the user object and then we obtain the username so that's the same same thing which we do also for the password okay and then of course show the password right here as a text object then lastly we also have actually this one should be email so go ahead change this one to email and then this one will have of course the password okay so does it guys that's what we're going to do and then of course we come right here and we have right here our my app class so this is my app this is a widget which will represent the full application we make it extend the stateless widget and then we override the build method now a stateless widget is a widget that doesn't have any mutable state so in this case we'll be returning a material app object okay a new material app then of course this is the home scaffold then we pass in right here the body the body we pass in a home instance and then we come right here and invoke the run up method run up is going to run our application so we just pass in an instance of my app and does it this does it we've actually uh, seen how to pass data from one screen to another multiple sets of data okay so like this video share it if you have any question you can leave it in the description below this video or our website camposha.info otherwise like the video share it and make sure you guys subscribe uh to this channel program users tv okay at this take care i'll catch you in the next class